guys, it's Coach Natalie. I hope everyone's doing well. Today I'm going to be going over some cartwheel drills that you guys can do at home. And like always, please make sure you guys are stretched. So I'm going to link those stretching videos down below for you guys to follow along with at home. Please make sure that you guys have adult supervision when doing these drills. Just like in class when our coaches are watching you, your parents should be doing the same at home. Like I do in all the videos, I'm going to be starting at the more beginner drills and moving all the way up to the most advanced drills. So please just follow along as far as you guys can go and don't worry if it gets too hard for you. For these drills today, we use a wall, our line of tape, an ottoman, and some couch cushions. Before we get into the drills today, I do want to go over a few things and remind you guys of our line when we do our levers. We are going to keep that line the whole time that we're practicing these cartwheel drills, just like we did in our handstand drills. That line from your fingertips all the way down to your toes when you're in your lunge. We do want to remember to stay fully extended when we're doing these drills, which means that you're going to try to stretch yourself as long and tall as you can without going on your tippy toes. Also when doing these drills, we want to squeeze our stomach and our butt as tight as we can and our arms when they go up. We want to make sure that they're covering our ears and our head doesn't go out or this way. It's going to be locked in between those arms for us. The last thing that we want to remember when doing these drills is to reach as far as we can away from our feet. We don't want our hands to go down right next to our feet. We want them to reach as far away as possible. The reason that we want to do all of these tips is we want to make sure that we are fully extended and squeezed and our body is as tight as possible to get that pretty line that we want. As well as when we extend, that's making us so we don't break our line. Our line's staying the entire time. And the only difference between our hands and our cartwheel and according to that line is that instead of our feet being together, they're gonna to be a part at the top of our cartwheel. Alright guys, that's all that I wanted to say before we got into this video, so please enjoy me demonstrating these drills as Coach Kim explains them for us. Okay, the first drill we're going to do today for cartwheels is our T-levers. It's a variation on our regular T-lever. We start just the same in a lunge with our feet on our line, hips facing forward, arms by our ears, everything extended and tight. And we're going to reach tall, reach out into our lever, but we're going to open our hips, hit our T, and come back and hold one, two, three. Here we go. Kick up, reach as far as you can, squeeze everything, open hips, close hips. Good, we're gonna do 10 of those on our good leg or your favorite leg. Then you're gonna switch legs, put the other leg in front, start your lunge, reach up tall, squeeze, open those hips while you hit your T, come back, close those hips, and hold one, two, three. One more time, reach up nice and tall. Hit that T with open hips and close and hold one, two, three. For video purposes, Natalie just did two, but I would recommend doing 10 on each leg. Okay, once you can master your T level at the height where the we have the cushion set up right now for Natalie to hit her T perfectly. Once she, you can do that consistently, then you can start taking your cushions away. So start by taking one away and then practice your levers. Once you can do those consistently and hit your lunges, then you can take another cushion away. And again, once you can do 10 on each leg consistently with really good form and technique, then you can take away another cushion. And now we'll be down to our ottoman. So the drill stays the same as you remove your cushions. Once you get down just to your ottoman, it should look like this. Reach, turn, touch, and Okay, and then the last most difficult lever drill would be going all the way to the ground. So we've moved the ottoman away. Natalie's gonna start using it against the wall. That would be the easiest, use your wall. And you're gonna reach up, hit your T, go down to the ground, touch, come back up, close those hips and land in your lunge. Great. Again, do 10 on each leg. And then if and when you can, you're gonna do the same thing and try not using the wall. Okay, our next uh, cartwheel drill is going to be a straddle Spider-Man. As per usual, we're going to start in a big tada, fully extended, nice and tall and tight, toes together, shoulders to ears, we're going to go down to our squat, hands on our line, climb up the wall just like a handstand, but in this case we're going to straddle our legs into cartwheel position. We're going to hold for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 feet together, down to your squat, and finishing a big tada. That can be done in sets of three, 
uh, working from 10 to 20 to 30 seconds each. The next cartwheel drill we're gonna do is very similar. We're gonna start in our tada, tall and tight as always, fully extended, down to our squat. We're gonna climb up to our Spider-Man, handstand on the wall, and then walk our hands all the way to the wall, and then straddle into cartwheel position. And we're gonna hold that 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and finish cartwheel out. Back to up to your lunge. Okay, once you can do your Spider-Man to straddle handstands, then we're gonna to kick to straddle handstands. So we're gonna start in our lunge, kick to a handstand against the wall, go to your straddle position, count to 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and come down on your good leg and hold one two three and now we're going to do the same drill we're going to start in a lunge kick to a handstand hit your straddle and come down on your bad leg end of the combo and hold your lunge the next drill we're going to do is we're going to cartwheel into that straddle hold position against the wall so we start in our lunge and then we reach out and kick up to straddle position against the wall Hold for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and come back the same way you went in and hit that lunge. Next, we're gonna take the drill that we just did, cartwheeling into your straddle Spider-Man, and then we're gonna come out and finish the cartwheel on the other side. So we're gonna start in a lunge. We're gonna reach out, kick to the wall in the straddle position. Hold for 10, 9, 8, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and go all the way over and come out and finish on the other side. Now we're gonna put all that together. Um, we're gonna use the wall to do a full cartwheel. We're gonna start in our lunge, reach up and away towards our feet, away from our feet, hit your straddle, beautiful, and then finish. Great. Then we're gonna take the same drill, but this time we're gonna do it with our back to the wall. So we're gonna start in our lunge, we're gonna reach up tall and we're gonna kick into a straddle handstand using the wall with your back to the wall. Hold for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and come back to your lunge. And hold one, two, three. Perfect. All right, we're gonna do that same drill, but this time we're gonna take it over to the finish side after. So we're gonna start in a lunge. Reach away from your feet, kick up to your straddle handstand using the wall, keeping that head in. Beautiful count, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and come down on the other side, finish in your lunge. One, two, three, very nice. Now we're gonna put that all together. We're gonna do the full cartwheel using the wall with our back to the wall. We're starting our lunge, hold for three. Two, one, reach away from your foot, kick to your straddle handstand using the wall and all the way over, hold your lunge. One, two, three. Once you can do the cartwheel without using the wall, you still wanna do it near the wall. So the next drill, we're doing a cartwheel with our back to the wall, full cartwheel. Start in our lunge, kick to our straddle handstand, finish in our lunge. Nice. And now we're gonna do the same thing, near a wall with our stomach facing the wall. Start in our lunge, reach away, kick to the handstand, full cartwheel, end in lunge. Great. Okay, once you can do a, your cartwheel really solid and technically correct on the line, it's time to start working um, towards a round offs. So the first drill we're gonna do is doing our cartwheel from a lunge or from a knee. And this requires a little more power from the back, so you wanna kick, which is what you'll need for your round offs. So you're gonna start in a lunge, and you're gonna reach away, always reach away, kick, and then hold. This drill is really good for both cartwheels and round offs. It works on closing the hips at the end. So we're gonna start in a, a lunge. We're gonna do our cartwheel and land in a um, squat. So start in your cartwheel, reach away from your foot, kick, and finish in a squat. Okay, this is a lever drill to work on round offs. We're gonna work on getting our feet together and our chest and arms and head up, keeping our line. So we're gonna start in the lunge, kick to our T against a wall, and now we're gonna snap up, bring our feet together and our hands up, keeping the line. Again, we kick to our T and snap up, feet together. This drill's gonna work on the end of a round off and work on control. So we're gonna do a regular cartwheel, but instead of landing on 
both legs eventually. We're just gonna land on our first leg, hold our back leg up for three seconds, and then place it. One, two, three, and place. Okay, now we're gonna put it all together and do what's called a cartwheel step in. The uh, beginning of a cartwheel, but the end of a round off. Uh, the key here is to get your chest and your arms and your head up as your foot snaps down next to the other foot. So we're gonna start as a cartwheel, get your way, and then snap that foot and lift that chest. Okay, our last drill is gonna be a cartwheel, slide our feet together and fall to the wall. It's just starting to get the feeling of what putting um, a round off back handspring together is like. So we're gonna start off just doing a regular cartwheel towards the wall, land, slide your front foot to your back and fall to a hollow sit. Hollow sit is just your lower back, right above your bottom is touching, your belly's rounded out and squeezed. All right guys, those are all the cartwheel drills we have for you guys today. I hope you guys followed along and enjoyed. And I hope you guys are all staying safe at home and you guys are all healthy. We cannot wait to be back in the gym with you when things are safe. But until then, we will continue to make these videos for you guys to embrace new gymnastics at home. Don't forget to click that subscribe button down below as well as push that bell notification. That will let you guys get notifications for every time we post a video on here. As well as follow us on Instagram because we've been posting these videos as well as pictures from class and fun things that you guys can do to keep active at home. Also, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up, helps us out, and it lets us know that you guys are enjoying these videos. Alright guys, I'll see you next week. Bye! Say hi to the spirit kids! <laughs>